guess what finally showed up at my door today? This bad boy! Now it's time to open this and hopefully it plays right out of the box, but we will find out together. Um, before I recorded this, I had to find my old reads from college that are probably like six years old now. Had to put a lot of cork crease on this and re-glue the whisper pad. But overall, it is ready to play now. And here we go. I'm actually floored by how well this plays. The Linton brand of bassoons has just gotten such a bad rap, but this one seems to play pretty well. I've noticed some issues with tuning, but that also could be that the instrument has been traveling for Lord knows probably six days in very cold weather. So I think I'm gonna try to let it acclimate a little bit more to the space um, and maybe in a day or two, the tuning will be a little bit better. This bassoon has no end cap down here. They still did include this like super old fashioned butt strap. And so it actually just kind of hooks on to the bottom there. It still holds on, which is nice. The notes come out pretty well on this bassoon. Maybe I'll come back and do a follow-up video in like two or three weeks. And maybe my thoughts will have changed. But right now, as of just opening it, you know, I don't even have a watch on. Whoa. I have to say, I'm really impressed. I guess we'll now cut to two weeks from now and um, see what I think about it. So I forgot to record part two of this video with everything that went on. And instead of two weeks later in April 2020, uh, I'm uploading this now in January of 2021. And as you can see, it's definitely not April. This is definitely January, and we are in the middle of some horrific winter storm. So the upside of that is that I had a little bit more time to do some sleuthing on the origins of this instrument and figure out what the heck it is. The bassoons that Linton gets a bad rap from are primarily the 5000 series, and these are made out of plastic with limited keywork and are mainly made for elementary school kids that are just starting out on the instrument and they want a cheap option so that the kids can learn on it. Uh, this is actually a 6000 series, and it is made out of wood, and it's possibly maple, I believe. In my quest for information, I found a bassoon-centric blog called Bassoon Works, and I emailed them, and they were very kind, and they sent me back that they think the bassoon is made somewhere in the 1960s, so they don't have a good list of serial numbers for the instruments, and that it looks as if the keywork has been updated and added to, so someone must have taken it under their wing and done some major overhauls before selling this. And to really amp up the mystery factor to the nth degree with this whole thing, as I finished unpacking the rest of the bassoon, I came across these pictures that were included in there, and they're from Rolling Prairie, Indiana, so I assume it's from the person that sold the instrument, and maybe it's the person that also fixed the instrument. Just some guy with uh, instruments. So there he's with the sousaphone there. He's just kind of, he's just a crazy guy. And then there's this person with eyes in a violin case, I think. So I think I'm just gonna put these in my violin case and just look at them when I unpack my instrument. So anyways, if you're out there watching this, thank you for the pictures. They're kind of fun and cool, so. And in terms of reads, I was able to get in contact with the person that made my bassoon reads before, and she does an excellent job. Uh, I will put her info down in the description below if you ever want to order reads from her. She's pretty wonderful, and I think she ships all over the US. She does a great job just wrapping them in all kind of fun, probably can't set a focus, but it's fun multicolored string, and then also she just has a nice Just Be You sticker. I feel very uh, validated and seen, so. Thank you. And before I go, I'm gonna leave you with my 
cover of Legend of Zelda Horon Village, but this is the bassoon solo in the middle of it that's a bossa nova style cover of the Sonic Green Hill Zone music. Um, enjoy.